And one small aside that I want to just throw out there, uh, and this notion of sustainability, I read a book recently and they used the term sustainable business. Mm -hmm. And it was the most comedic thing I'd ever heard. It was written by this very prominent, wealthy environmentalist. Who, and he was trying to explain how business can be sustainable. How can you possibly have sustainability in a paradigm, in, a, in an approach, where you have organizations in competition with each other that can't produce anything of high quality because of the need to have cost efficiency and preserve market share and cut corners at all times? How can you have sustainability when all industries are out for themselves and they're only worried about the resources and everything that relates to them and they have no symbiotic or synergistic relationship to anything else? How can you have sustainability when they're obviously polluting and keep polluting on some level or another because it's framed in the ne in the network, excuse me, it's framed in the context of the establishment, which means they have to cut costs. Excuse me, I'm being framed in the in the context of the monetary system when they have to cut costs, so they can't possibly have output of efficiency, meaning you have to have landfills. No one can afford proper disposal. No one can afford to do all the things that are really necessary. No one can care about having sustainable goods, nor is it possible to have sustainable goods in order to keep the consumption going. So I laughed comedically when I was listening to this huge, reading this entire book on sustainable business, because it's completely relative. They make it a little bit more sustainable. They say, oh, we're going to recycle a few more it? things. His name is um, Hawken, Paul Hawken. Stop supporting the energy companies. If you live in a detached house, get off the grid. Investigate every means of making your home self-sustainable with clean energy. Solar, wind, and other renewable energies are now affordable consumer realities. And considering the never-ending rising cost of traditional energies, it will likely be a cheaper investment over time. If you drive, get the smallest car you can and consider using one of the many conversion technologies that can enable your car to be a hybrid, electric, or run on anything other than establishment fuels.